No matter what you want to do or who you want to be, pessimism will never help you. Being pessimistic is not going to help you accomplish any of your dreams, fulfill any of your desires, and help you even move towards any of your goals. And a, lot, a common trap that a lot of people have that I know that I used to be one of the most pessimistic people ever, and I thought it was just me being realistic, but it's the absolute opposite of that. Being delusional in a pessimistic way is equally as unrealistic as being delusional in a completely optimistic way. But the only difference is that if you're being pessimistic, you're literally dragging yourself down. Or you're, you're basically anchoring yourself down to a reality that you don't even want to be in, but you believe that that's the way things should be because that's how your mind is programmed. And becoming optimistic is definitely not easy if you're habitually pessimistic, which I used to be. Again, I used to be one of the most pessimistic people ever. I was so negative about everything. And a lot of it wasn't even about me. It was about me being programmed by society and people telling me this is how you should think about this and that. And I believe that. So I can't, I can't blame it on other people. I have to take full responsibility for I was pessimistic because of the beliefs that I held inside me. But you also have to take a step back and think about why do you think what you think? Why do you think that you can't accomplish some goal or write a book or make a song? Is it because of for fear of what other people think about you? Is it because that you think you're going to fail because somebody told you that you weren't good at something? Being pessimistic, basically putting yourself down or always expecting something negative to happen, not only is not going to help you, but it will negatively affect everything that you perceive and everything that comes back to you. When you're putting that pessimistic energy into anything, whether it's making a video, writing a song, just talking to somebody, people are going to feel that. People feel the energy that you put out into the world. And if you're putting out this, it's basically like being pessimistic. There's a stream of energy that's always coming from you. And this stream of energy is always pure. It's pure consciousness, love, awareness, whatever you want to call it. It's pure. It's beautiful. It's peaceful. And being pessimistic is kind of like throwing dirt, throwing rocks, throwing anything negative into the stream and you're basically dirtying up this water, you're dirtying up this love, putting all this fear and negative attachments to it and that's what it is. And you might think that, yeah, it's just me being realistic or it's just because I want to be right. Think about, I think about it this way. I always used to be one of those people that wanted to be right about everything and I felt that the way to do that was to be pessimistic. And then I kind of had this breakthrough, maybe you'd call it an epiphany, that I would rather be wrong about something and be optimistic than be right about something and be pessimistic. And here's why. Being right about anything will not get you anywhere. It will not get you to where you want to be. All it's going to do is give you an ego boost. It's going to stroke your ego. And that's all I used to care about. All I used to care about was being right and... That was definitely the cause for some of my pessimism because a lot of the things in the world going on in the world are absolutely negative. But if you want to just try to predict everything and say that, oh, it's going to be the end of the world that this happens or this happens and that you want to be right about that because you're pessimistic, that's not going to, it's not going to make you happy. It's not going to, it's just silly me thinking about this, about how negative I used to be. And it, it never brought me anywhere. I didn't put myself out. I didn't put myself out there, I never expressed anything, and people could definitely sense this about me, that I was just so negative, and they probably didn't want to be around me, they probably didn't want to hear anything I was saying, because the energy that I was putting out into their lives was kind of dragging them down also. I mean, it's, it's kind of bad to say that, but it's true, and I'm glad over this past two years, through my personal development spiritual journey, that I've really detached from this negativity, and really reprogram my mind to become more optimistic because I truly believe that optimism is going to help you with whatever endeavor you want or just to find self-love for yourself and find inner peace. Think about it like this. If you don't feel love for yourself, you don't feel self-love, which I know that I didn't, and you're always pessimistic and you're always thinking, well, I'm never going to find it because I didn't have it in the past, so why would I have it right now? You're not going to try anything new. You're not going to get creative inspiration and ideas that are really seeking that love inside you. If you're optimistic, you're open to more of a... You're, you're basically open to more ideas, whether it's coming from your heart, coming from your intuition, coming from your mind, and you're really open to trying new things. And 
I know that this is the case for me is that one thing that really helped me break out of my kind of depression anxiety that I was going through was trying meditation and cold showers. And if I was pessimistic, if I went into these things thinking, well, this is stupid, like this isn't going to work, I would have given up immediately when I didn't see results on the first try. I'll always say this, that the first time I meditated, I could only do it for five seconds. The first time I ended a shower cold, I could only do it for five seconds. And I didn't see the results come into my life for a couple months after doing it every single day. But I was optimistic. I felt just a little, a little better each time. I knew that I could accumulate this. Uh, it's a term called Kaizen, which is basically that if you have small steps, small cumulative gains over time will add up. Small cumulative gains over time will add up. I know I'm rambling a bit. I want to stay on topic talking about pessimism because I truly believe that our world is far too pessimistic. I mean, there are definitely some terrible things going on in the world. Don't get me wrong on that. But there is so much love, so much, so many things to be thankful for. And it's really, it's really, you can choose to put your perception on, say, it's, pretend that life is a field of all possibilities, infinite possibilities, which it really is. You have the ability to focus on whatever possibilities you want and out of a probability amplitude, and I'm talking from some books, but will come into your reality, maybe not overnight, but the more you focus on something, the likely, the more likely it will show up in your life. So the more you look on the negative side of life, maybe the darker side, the more you're going to bring these things to yourself, but the more you're also going to train yourself to act more negatively towards other people. Or, on the other hand, if you can look on the glass half full side, the side where things are positive in life and people are trying to help each other and trying to cooperate and not competing, well, maybe you're going to start to see that more in your life. Maybe you're going to have some inspiration about how you can help other people because you see other people serving others. You see other people using their gifts that they've been given by their source or love or whatever you want to call the universe, the creator, that they're giving to you. And we're all gifted with these things that... W all gifted with these talents that are unique to us that we can share with the world how we can help either how how he we can help the world in our own unique way just got a little messed up there but being pessimistic is just it's just a story that you tell yourself that you're being realistic because this is how the world has been so that's how the world is going to continue to be and it's just not true and being pessimistic because you think you're going to be right is just it's just silly. I know it's silly. As I said before, I used to think this way. And sure, I was definitely, I will say this, I was definitely right a lot more than I was wrong. But my life was terrible. My mindset was terrible. I was deeply unhappy inside. And now I'll say that I'm definitely wrong about a lot more things than I am right about. Right. Because there really is, in truth, no right or wrong. It's a whole, completely different rant. Law of one stuff. But I am definitely wrong about a lot of stuff in the short term. In the long term, we will see. But I know that how much my optimism and me reprogramming my mind to look on the brighter side of things has positively affected my mental health. It's not even a, in a delusional way. I mean, you can think of it, about it as delusion if you're unhappy. That if you're unhappy, I know this from my experience, that when I was unhappy, I would look at people who were happy or who had self-love, inner peace, any of this stuff, and I would just think that they were delusional. When they would have been thinking about me as being delusional. So we all think that people who are thinking the opposite of us are delusional. But from viewing both sides of this coin, as you may say, I truly believe that being optimistic isn't delusional. It's really just understanding the true beauty of life and being pessimistic is completely delusional because you may be right in the moment, but where, where has that brought you?